thing is situated here. That's bad. All right. What we're going to be doing today, um, sport Maliko boots, of course. Many people hadn't heard of this thing that I come across. You know, I come across a lot of things that people don't know about. First thing first, we want to say hello to Vanessa and hello to The Interceptor. Hey, guys, how y'all doing? What y'all doing? All right, cool. I got to squeeze between these tires. I'm going to squeeze between these tires from The Interceptor. All right. And these air conditions. So check this out. This is what we're going to be doing today. All right. <clears throat> I bought last year a hound heater, dog house heater. Um, that's the name. Well, I don't forgot the name of it, but long story short, it's in this closet. I got to reach in this closet and I got to get it out the closet. There it is. Move this filter out of the way. I love filter. Oh, this is also going to be your friendly and only reminder before you tear something up and have to call me to change your filters. This season is changing, okay? Make sure you change your filters. Be sure to change your filters. Make sure you change them every Thursday. But anyway, I bought this little thing last year. I bought a couple accessories with it. We're going to take it outside. We're going to kind of unbox it a little bit. This is a hound heater, all right? This thing right here is... I need some light. It's kind of dull outside today. It's very dull outside. All right. It's a hound heater. All right. I bought it last year. I just never put it in because by the time I did buy it, it was like it, the temperature had already rose outside above the 60s. So there was no reason for me to buy this for my dog. But, the, dude, the seasons are changing pretty quick right now. It's getting cold. Like, it got down to 40-something last night. I'm unboxing stuff. All right. So I'm going to give you a little runaround of what I got. Right. So this right here is the... Well, you kind of get a generic box, but this is the device right here. All right. I do probably need to figure out how to mount that back up. It probably was probably had a mount up in there somewhere. Well, no, it didn't. But long story short, this is the hound heater. All right. Basically, what you're going to do is find you some kind of long light screws. And there's four holes. One, two, all right, three, four. If you have a dog house that you like custom made or something like that, um, or if it's big enough to where you can mount something on the side of it and then not worry about it falling off, then this is what you're going to do is you're going to basically pull the top off and pull the top off the dog's house and you're going to screw it to the wall. But what you need to do first, you need to drill a large enough hole through that dog house where you can run a plug to the outside. And as you can see, it does have two proof, um, you know, dogs like to chew on stuff and this is 120 volts. It's going to be plugged up to so, of course, this is not all the cords you're going to need. So I went ahead and got some of this here, which is Cacavito 30-foot dog cats or outside diameter or something like that. So what this is, is I'm going to wrap my extension cord up in this, and I'm going to run this around to my carport. That way, my dog cannot chew on it and electrocute himself, and I come home to a hot dog. You feel me? So I don't want to come home to a hot dog. On the top of this, this is the thermostat cord so you can adjust it it goes all the way up to 40 degrees dogs don't really i highly recommend that once it gets down into the 30s and 40s you don't put it anywhere above like 35 or something like 35 put it like 35 you can put it on 40 but you're going to run your bill up and you really don't want your dog to get too high because dogs do have fur and especially if you're going to be lining the dog house with hey you got to be careful make sure it's not a fire hazard whatever you do mount it high enough in the dog house to where the dog won't tamper with. I mean, I don't think a dog would be able to just tamper with this, but this is the thermostat, um, the little temperature probe for it right here. So what we're gonna do is we're about to go to my dog's house, pull the top off of it, and we are about to install this. I also got a dog house door flap to keep some of the heat. And of course, I'm gonna have to train him how to, to you know, dogs don't like to walk through something. My dog would literally walk right into my screen door on my back door and he got scared of it to the point where he won't even do it if i open it now so i have to try, kind of train him some dogs you may have to train them a little bit to walk through something that they can see it's clear yes but they can still see it so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go kind of modify my dog's house a little bit and uh it doesn't come with any screws by the way i didn't see any screws in the kit but um here's the paperwork for it it's very simple um find you like a bit like that or one of those step bits like i have which i'm sure for wood depending on how thick the wood on the dog house is if you built out of a crate you need something like this 
but I've got different bits that I use for different things. So here we go. What is it, boy? What you crying for, bro? I'm trying to get your stuff together. That way you don't freeze out here in the wintertime. I'm just digging around in the interceptor trying to, there it is right here. You know, I got like, everything is the same color. Like all my tools are the same color. So finds you a good little driver drill, which this also doubles as a hammer drill. I just got to put it in driver mode. That way I don't, you know, tear the whole side of my dog's house down. So you're going to need one of those. So I got my little tool bag on my backpack. I'm just going to, I can't even see it. Hold on. Hold on. I got to like, there's a clip for you to mount a drill on the tool bag. Just kind of like let it swing right there. You know what I'm saying? What up, boy? You're going to be warm this one. You ain't going to be cold this time. You had all that food already. What up, dude? Come on, Zach. Come on, Zach. Sit. Sit. Hey. Hey. Right, you going to hit me with the chain. So lay down whichever one. He gets confused sometimes, but it's all right. I tried to distract him by feeding him so I could do this, but he freaking ate his food too fast. So I got to go find some more of these right here. I found one of them. Um, I'm going to probably put it like on the back of his house and run the cord like around this tree and stuff. But it's just, you, you got to be careful because when you have a rebellious dog like this dude here, he likes to chew stuff up. Ain't that right? I'm turn away. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. Come here, Samson. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to have a heater this time, this winter. Ain't that right? You're going to have a heater this time, bro. Yeah. What? What? Sit. 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 Yeah. All right, so it's kind of windy outside, but um, this is all you're gonna need right here, pretty much. Uh, find you some screws, kind of like this right here, about two inch uh, screws. If you have an impact drill, you're gonna need a, you can use 5 sixteenths, but I use this right here, it goes to UPS truck. Um, so this is the official air conditioning bit of the air conditioning industry. It is a quarter and a 5 sixteenths, and it goes into an impact drill like this. You know what I'm saying? And you can just change it on the fly. So one side's 5 sixteenths, the other side's a quarter. So yellow is 5 sixteenths and red is a quarter. That's what I'm gonna be using to drive these in. So I've already taken some of the screws out to remove the top from my doghouse. Not every doghouse gonna look like this. It's a pretty big doghouse. The dog ain't really as big as the doghouse is, but uh, here we go. So first thing first, I'm going to remove the top of this doghouse. Alright, um, I'm gonna pick a spot like kind of closer towards the back, kind of like over here where he likes to be at. That way, all the heat doesn't just fly out the door. I'm gonna put it like kind of like right on this side right here. So, but before I mount it, I need to make a hole. Battery is so about to die. I think this battery ain't got much more juice, but the difference between this battery and that battery is this is the 3.0 amp. That one's a 1.0 amp, a 1.5 something like that. Here we go. So, yeah. about a one inch hose would be good enough. It's big enough so that plug can fit just enough food. It's getting close. Improvise. This is still the incorrect bit, but. <laughs> just like that. All right, so 
once you get your hold, I drop it. But once you get the hold, all right, you're gonna go like this. You're gonna feed it through like that. Get it kind of lined up. It's about exactly where I want it. Now I gotta get my impact through. Make sure the thermostat is not in the way because you will break the tip of that thermostat. Find you something like this. I tell you, Milwaukee, make them, they, they know how to make a drill, my boy. Just like that. This is a little bit crickly, probably. I'm not really looking for evenness right now. Then go ahead. Set your thermostat before you close it. You're not gonna wanna have to reach inside the dog's house to do that. I'm gonna put this thing on about right at 35, something like that. Um, right about 35 degrees, close the top. Um, this is something he can't tamper with because he, I mean, it's metal. It's, it ain't gonna come off. I can beat on it, it ain't moving. So there's that. And that's literally as simple as it is. But if you want an improved heating effect for your dog, put you on a door flap. So, uh-oh. Yeah, and I got all this stuff off Amazon. So, it shouldn't be that hard. It wasn't that expensive either. I'm probably gonna find me some better screws. Kind of put it like that. Um, it ain't much, but it's better than what you had. Matter of fact, I got some screws already right here. So I can just change the bit on my grip on my tenor one. It does help to have a multifunction screwdriver too. Oh my gosh, I got two of them things. I didn't know I had another one. So one of them was like an inch. I think this was like an inch and one inch and three eighths. So I'm gonna do now. I hope I got the right bit on this thing. It's most perfect. Just go like this. That'll keep some of the heat in there. And that's all it is to it. And of course, my extension cord I'm gonna use so that it can reach that will be wrapped with this right here. So, you know, you wanna make sure that you utilize every safety measure because you can't never think that you did not train your dog to not chew through stuff. They're gonna chew through stuff. And the last thing I want, like I said, is a hot dog, okay? Electricity does not mix well with anything <laughs> except what it's meant to power so you know uh, yes, sir. it should be enough i'm just gonna run it right up to my back deck and put it in the wall or run it right in my garage i'll probably run it to my back deck so there goes that and that's all it is to it now all i gotta do is put the top of the house back on thermostat's already set if it falls below or anywhere close to like 40 degrees well the heat is gonna come off and it's got a thermostat. And let me tell you something, it, it, it kicks out some heat, bro. <laughs> it kick out some heat, so, yeah. All right, I don't wanna mislead y'all on this. So I'm gonna actually go back on what I said. Those numbers that you saw on the top of that heater, level zero to 20, which is the number zero, you know, 10, 20, is approximately 35 to 50 degrees. Level 20 to 40 is approximately 50 to 80 degrees. So you probably wanna keep it between zero and 20 because it's gonna run until that dog's house gets up to like 70, 80 degrees. So I'd say 20 is about where I would leave that heater at. So about that is on the top of this heater, you see these numbers right here? I got it set all the way at 30. I need to be putting it at like 20. Uh, I probably put a little bit below, like kind of in between 15 and 20, because like I said, I don't want my dog to freeze, but I don't want to um, have a party going on with Alabama Power, so yeah. Alright, here goes the fun part.
All right, cool. So, all the wire that my dog would be exposed to is literally um, covered and secured some way, shape, or form. You don't have to get too crazy with it. But, I do want you to hear how quiet this thing is. So, put it on about. About 15. So, yeah, that is the hound heater for you right there. Pretty cool. Ooh, that's warm, too. I'm going to put the cover on in a second so this heat can stay in here. Feel that heat kind of way over here, too. The elements for it are right behind here. So, yeah, it's throwing heat out right there and right there. And I think it's sucking it in through here. Hey, Samsung, get down, get down. He's scared of that flap. <laughs> you gotta train him how to get back in the house and get out. He got in there a second ago, but he wouldn't come back out. Come here, boy. Come here, Samsung, get down. He's scared, he's terrified now. It's all right, come here, come here. It's just a flap, look. You did it just a second ago, you did good, good boy. Let's go, get down, get in, get in. Yeah, there we go, there we go. All right, come back out, come here, Samsung. He's scared. I see him in there. Come here, boy. It's just a flap. It's just a flap. Come on. Stick your nose out. Come here, boy. Come here, Samsung. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> Come on, boy. Come on. Yeah. There we go. All right. Come on. Get in the house. Get in the house. You got to get in. Oh, man. What you going to do when it pour down raining? You better get in the house. <laughs> get in. Get in the house. Oh man, this is gonna be a three day process for him. Come here. Look, you just did it a second ago. You did good a second ago. You gotta get back in the house. Go, get in, get in. Come on, come here, come here. Look, get out, get out. I see him have to put some treats in this training. <laughs> He's gonna have to have a treat for this. Come here, boy. That's, that's how you put a train dog with treats. Come on, get in, get in. Yeah. All right, you did good. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, you can do it. You can do it. Come on. Come on, Samsung. Yeah. It's not gonna hurt you. It ain't gonna hurt you. Get him Paul. Yeah. Get him Paul. Get him Paul. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you holding on to my leg? That's gonna take some getting used to him. I had to get him some of his treats. The trainer like to go in and out of his house, stuff like that. Um, but the real question is. How is he gonna react when he in that house and hear that thing go? <laughs> it's like training all over again. But I mean, you gonna get the hang of it. Ain't it right, boy? Well, eventually. Oh so, yeah, that's that right there. Um, if you are looking to get one of those, you can find one of those on Amazon. You can find it on Amazon. Um, you can find everything I just bought, literally on Amazon. The heater. Uh, it already comes with that chew, chew proof. <laughs> Look at him, he's like, what you do to my house? What you do to my house? <laughs> you gonna find out when it get down to about 20 degrees. <laughs> and you still warm in there. Yeah. You smell that? Mm. He intercepted. <sighs> so anyway, yeah, you can find all that stuff on uh, Amazon. I um, hope I answered some of y'all's questions. I think I just locked myself out of my house, so I will not be continuing to film until I figure out how to get back in my house. And I did. So, yeah. Um, catch up with y'all later.